Okay, just a little something on the squirrel cage blower wheel and how it works. Uh, these are sensitive to rotation. Uh, they have what are actually little air foils uh, in each one of the blades. We'll get a little closer on these blades. Okay, if you look closely at these little blades, kind of a wing shape right through here. It's bellied out that way. Uh, and if you turn these the wrong way, they won't blow any air. They won't blow much backwards. They'll actually move a little bit of air, but not much. I'll demonstrate that later. But because these things are curved like this, it pulls a vacuum down below and pulls more air in. So as air is say sitting here and as this goes starts to rotate this airfoil here draws air in from the bottom. These uh, blower wheels have always seemed a little backwards to me but this is how they work uh, and if you want a really exhaustive understanding uh, talk to Lau or one of those outfits that knows more about it. What I'll tell you about these things is that if you put them in backwards or you run the fan motor backwards it don't work for sour apples. And I'm going to set this up so that it runs backwards. First I'm going to set it up running forward then I'm going to set it up running backwards so you can tell the difference. Okay for those of you that have seen some of my earlier videos this is the same blower I had before that I demonstrated uh, blower loads and amp draw. And so this, is, this thing's going to do the same thing as it did in the other video. You can see the amp draw is 17.8, and the normal amp draw for this blower is 9.1. Okay, I'm going to reverse the direction of this blower, and let's see what happens to the amp. Before I do that, me out again here. Before I do that, I'm going to shut this blower up and note how fast the blower slows down. Now you can see it's slowing down and slowing down and pretty much stopped. Okay, now I'm going to reverse its direction. Start this thing up again, but this time it's going to be backwards. It's not making as much noise as it did before. And look at our amp drum. Now, it's moving a little bit of air. These things actually do not push air backwards if they're going backwards. To give you an idea, you can see you get down here and it does throw some air out the bottom. But it's much, much less than it was when it was running before, as you can tell by the amp drum. Amp draw is going to be power use, so that's amount of air moved essentially is what that is. So these things will not operate properly if they're running backwards. Now I'm going to shut this off and I want you to watch that blow. Now note it is running longer and longer. It just keeps on running. That's because there's no load on it. It's not moving very much air, so it will slow down very slow. And that's a good indication that your blower's going backwards. Uh, there's a lot of things out there that have been fixed or proposed to be fixed and so on like that when the only thing that was going on was the blower's rolling backwards. So to summarize, if the blower's going the correct direction, you can, you can actually see and tell the amp draw, the power usage. If it's going backwards, the power usage will be very, very low. It will still move some air, so that may fool some people that look at it, but it's not going to move enough air to keep it from either if it's an air conditioner freezing up or a furnace kicking limits off. So, uh, correct direction. Make sure they're running the right way. If you replace a motor with a reversible motor, make sure it's going the right way.